Hey guys, I'm Jax, and this is my spoiler review for Obi-Wan Kenobi. And straight off the bat, Obi-Wan Kenobi, too long, bit messy, just call it Kenobi. Just cleaner, nicer, just Kenobi. Or, better yet, call it Ben Kenobi. We all know what it is, no one's gonna be like, Ben Kenobi, what even is that? We all know, and he's hiding under the name, the, the name of Ben Kenobi, the brilliantly crafted... A undercover name, Ben Kenobi. It should have been called Ben Kenobi. Or, no, it should have. It should have been called Kenobi. So right off the bat, title-wise, we're just, we're not off to a great start. But no, it, it, it's fine. I mean, the title is the least of this show's issues. Let's be honest. So just to be clear, I think the last couple of minutes, or specifically the last five minutes, where he's just like, oh, like, oh my god, Anakin Skywalker, he's alive, oh no, Lord Vader! And he's all, you know, acting and stuff, and then we see that shot of Anakin at the end of the second episode, and it's like, the Darth Vader breathe, and all that stuff, and it's kind of like, okay, cool. Maybe the next four episodes will be fantastic. Maybe they're going to be amazing. But these first two episodes... Uh, they left me wanting, man. Like, I found them really underwhelming. At times, like, shockingly boring. At times, very unfunny. And just, we're just spending time doing things where I'm like, what are we doing? It's gonna be hard to make an Obi-Wan show. Everyone has their own ideas of what he was doing at the, like during that time. What was he doing for all those years? The stories we can come up with. It's all, you know, there's so much kind of, you know, hype around this character. We all love this character. We love Ewan McGregor as this character. And it's just like, I don't know, I was expecting a lot, and then I kind of lowered my expectations, then I even lowered them again because of Book of Boba Fett, because I was like, well, they actually completely, just completely ruined that character, and he's a classic, beloved icon and a character, but he's, you know, a mask, and we haven't seen behind the mask before, whereas we've seen Obi-Wan before, and he's a fantastic actor, like, how you can't go too wrong, but this episode, I feel like, does a lot wrong in terms of just being like, I don't know, it's just like, this is not at all what I want to see. I don't want to see him running around with a sassy little Leia. Like, it's just... Oh, what the hell, man? So, Leia. I'm not opposed to seeing Leia in some kind of, you know, little cameo role. We've got little Luke and he's doing the whole, like, ship thingy, but he doesn't talk. And it's just... It baffles me that they're like... You know, the whole previously was like, prequel stuff, prequel stuff. And it's like, oh, I'm getting excited, I'm getting excited. I'm a big prequel lover. I love all the prequels. Well, mostly two and three. I don't really like one. And, you know, mostly because there's a little ten-year-old boy running about being like, Oh, yippee, ha ha! Oh, I'm ten, yeah! Just a stupid little kid. Shut up, little Anakin. I don't want to see it and I don't want to see little Leia Organa running around being sassy and being way too clever for a 10 year old and everyone's like oh she's so clever for a 10 year old and it's just there is so much like in that first episode before it got revealed that she's going to get kidnapped and that's going to be the inciting incident to get him off Tatooine and story and plot and whatever which I am fine with the idea of him being like oh I got to protect both kids I like that idea but to spend the first episode when we only have six, if we had maybe 13 episodes, I'd be way more inclined to give her more screen time. But half the first episode is just little Leia Organa running around being sassy and quippy with a little sassy quippy droid thing. And they're all flying about. And she's running up trees and running around and having action chase sequences. And it's just like, I don't care how much Jimmy Smith you throw at me to try and appease me. It's just, wh wh what are we doing? We have six episodes. I want to spend this time with Anakin and Obi-Wan. And I want to see Clone Wars flashbacks and prequel flashbacks. I want to see those actors acting together. Show us, like, the first whole episode could have just been him in the cave thinking back on the Clone Wars days. And them having friend scenes and being like, we are so buddy buddy friends. Oh, we're the best friends ever. And, you know, make up for all that time we didn't see them being best friends together. So that when they have their inevitable fight in the sixth or fifth episode or whatever, it's... It's more powerful because we saw them being friends in full and you've got so much time to spend with it but now it's like you spend 20 minutes of Leia Organa little 10 year old sassy girl running about who cares oh my god it was fine it it was fine okay let's wind it back let's bring it back let's get positive guys let's get positive I'm positive I'm sorry. shake the hair let's let's forget about what doesn't work let's talk about what does work I like the fact that he has a job now, I guess, I guess, I don't know, I guess that's kind of funny, I never really imagined he'd have a job, because like being a Jedi I guess was his job, but he has like a job, like he clocks in, 9 to 5, he's like you and me, he's like you and me, he's just an average man, an every man, he's just a working man, he's just sitting there cutting up that big space whale that's crashed in the desert and he's just cutting it up also just crazy to see a big whale thingy i think they're from rebels i think i remember seeing them fly about in rebels a couple of times they're like it's the sea whales and they had a kind of doctor who-esque kind of episodes so they're, they're cutting it up and it's taking them 
just like 20 of them every day because that's their job forever or they just find I don't know I, I don't care about his job but he has a job and that's a bit of fun I guess I liked the big alligator crocodile bounty hunter I liked his visual look was he in a good gunfight or scene or action sequence no 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 he wasn't but he he was in it he looked good I mean the whole show looks fantastic Everything except for the desert stuff, which reminds me of Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian, where it's like, sure. I mean, those shows, you've got the big, the big dome thingy, whatever the hell they call it, you know, and they're like, we've got to shoot it all, and it's, oh, it's, 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 it's magic. You know what's really magical? Getting a bunch of actors out in the desert and just shooting a sequence. I mean, if you're only going to spend one episode in the desert, maybe just take Orm McGregor out with a big sea monkey horse thing, whatever the hell he was riding, the big snouty thing. You know, it's, it's, it's a Star Wars thing. One of you watching is like, it's, it's this and name and you're furious at me, but I don't care. The big snotty, how the, the horse thing, he's riding it. Just get that and him in the desert and just shoot for one day. Just so I can get some real, some real sand in there. Instead of looking at these big empty wastelands of CGI, just, oh, the volume can do everything. It can't make sand and desert look good. It's, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it! I like how Obi-Wan got John wicked, and all the bounty hunters are like, the, the thing's coming up and they're like, all the bounty hunters are out to get him and he's in a seedy town and all the bounty hunters are going to attack him and he's going to fight them all off and it's going to be this epic John Wick-esque sequence but he's a Jedi and it's going to be amazing and he's going to have to use his force at one point to get out of the situation and blow his cover. Or we could have a really bad gunfight and almost, you know, no payoff for this amazing all the bounty hunters are out to get him and have him do a little bit of a fisticuffs with like two guys and then we can do some rooftopping and then Revan, everyone's favorite inquisitor, I almost forgot that they were called, Sith but shit Sith or whatever, I think they should be called shit Sith, not inquisitors because they're shit, the, oh my god, the inquisitors are all terrible, all three of them just terrible actors, terrible characters, no, no menace. The only scary thing they did was she chopped the guy's hand off. And I laughed because I was like, ha ha, got his hand, good. But I don't care. The first scene they're in, chop a hand off. Okay, okay, okay. Stakes have been set. Okay, they're a bit menacing. And then she's like, I will murder Owen Lars. I will kill him unless you all do as I say. And then the other guy's like, I'm going to undermine you. I'm undermining you. And she's like, well, I won't. I won't kill this guy right now. Yeah. Great show of strength, shit Siths. Like, you're really, you're really showing your power. Like, the Grand Inquisitor, just, what a piece, what a piece. I'm glad he died, mostly because he doesn't look very good. Also, I love how everyone online was just, like, giving him shit for how he looked for, like, weeks or months or however long it's been since the trailer. Absolutely glorious stuff, because he looks terrible. It should be, it should be better, but I'm not making that video. Those videos have been made for months now, but I guess they just didn't put any effort in because the character sucks and he dies you know, like a little bitch. He just dies, just stab. Didn't see that coming. Didn't sense that with the force or whatever. No, I guess not. Just so, just like underwhelming. And for ages I kept going, wait, but when is this set compared to Rebels? I guess it's set after. Who cares though? Terrible character. I still think that every single line of dialogue and every single scene he was in would have been so much more exciting. So much better. Because straight off the bat, as soon as he enters the scene, which is essentially the first scene, Oh, I was super underwhelmed and just kind of like, oh. Yeah, maybe you should have cast Lucius Malfoy, who voices him in the animated series. And if he wasn't keen to do the show, you pay him more money and get him keen. Or you write a better script so he's keen. Or if he's like, I'm not available this year, you shoot it next year. You just, you make it, st Lucius Malfoy is in like 15 seconds of each Harry Potter movie and he steals the movies. He's exceptional. He's a perfect, villainous, powerful bad guy. And then if you needed him to kind of, you know, fall back and be a bit like weak and whiny and like, you know, you know, like that kind of groveling, oh, like I'm not as good as a villain anymore. He can nail that too. We've seen all of that in just one character in Harry Potter and I'm sure he's acted in other things. I just don't watch that much stuff and just, you know, repeating watching Harry Potter a lot. He's amazing. Why didn't they cast Lucius Malfoy? Infuriating. But also, who cares, because he died like a little bitch and he sucked in this. But, uh, yeah. I'm very mixed on this show. And by mixed, I mean quite negative. But it could get good. It could get good. Anakin's going to be in it. Anakin, it's, it's going to get better when he's in it.
Another thing I liked is when Obi-Wan gets his lightsabers and he's like, I've hidden them in the desert. You've got to hide your lightsabers. And he tells the other Jedi, you've got to hide your lightsaber. Don't use your lightsaber. Hide it in the desert. When he grabs back his lightsabers, he's still not going to be like, I'm a Jedi. Look at me. And he's waving it about. But instead of hiding them, you know, like in his pants, like a, like a concealed gun or something, he just has it strapped to his sides. He goes to pay the lady to get on the ship at the end of the first episode. He just throws his cape along, wisps along into the beautiful desert air. And his lightsaber's just showing. It's just showing! And then later, when him and Leia are running about and they're like, Oh, we're having shenanigans! And she's like, Oh, I'm snappy and quippy and fun and oh, aren't I the smartest, coolest ten-year-old ever? Too much Leia hate. She's fine. She's fine. Just... She's fine. But I love that Obi-Wan is just like, Look at my lightsaber. Everyone just look at my lightsaber. Shh, don't call me a Jedi, but look at my lightsaber! Hide your lightsaber, Obi-Wan! What are you bloody doing, mate? Okay, no, I... I, I what, one more Leia thing. One too many times, she's like, you're a bit old, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're a bit old. Maybe I'll just run away from you. Maybe I'll just run away. And the whole final action scene will be him running away. And instead of him fighting off ten guys, and he's like, I can't do it. Whoa. Force. Or he brings out the lightsaber and cuts like seven of them in half. Just forces her and makes sure she doesn't fall on the ground. And she falls and lands. And there's like ten people in the alley for some reason. This dirty, disgusting alley. There's just a million people watching. Just that's how he reveals his force powers and gets kind of... Outed. But then it doesn't really matter because then they get on a ship and escape and there's no real consequences for it. So it's just like things are happening, but does it really make a difference? <sighs> I didn't like this very much. I don't know if that's come across. Okay, so one actual scene that I actually really did enjoy was just the opening scene. And we've got a, you know, we're panning off in a city and I'm like, oh, it's a city. We're not, we didn't start in a desert. That actually surprised me. I like that. That's like kind of, oh, okay, here we go. And then you see all these younglings and I'm like, Order 66, we're Order 66-ing this, yes please. And then she's fighting off the clones, and she's killing them, and fighting, and she's getting all the kids, and she's going like a badass, and I'm like, okay, this is awesome. I can't believe this show is going to have so much energy, and action, and suspense, and drama, and you know, you know she's going to tragically die when Anakin comes out of nowhere, turns the red lightsaber on, you think he's his friend, cuts her down, then he looks at the younglings, and then it cuts. Obi-Wan Kenobi, but scratch the Obi-Wan, just call it Kenobi. And then it's happening, she starts getting shot, and you think, when's Anakin gonna appear? When's he gonna appear? And he's gonna cut them down, look at those younglings, and it's gonna cut! And then, he doesn't appear. Even though they've cast him and he's back. It's just a scene at Order 66. But you're not using Anakin. The, you know, the actor, Hayden Christensen, who you've got back. You haven't utilized him. Fine, fine, why not? Why not? I mean, why not have Darth Vader just be the Revan character? She's like, I have so much beef with Obi-Wan. Ooh, I've got to prove myself to Vader. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's great when she does reveal to him, and he's all like, oh, I'm acting, I'm Obi-Wan, I'm acting, that he finds out Anakin's alive. But just have this whole scene. Imagine, like, I mean, I guess he couldn't land on Tatooine because he'd be like, this is Owen. You're Owen. Oh, shit, you have a kid? I'm going to just go check on that kid to make sure it's not... My kid. So it's, you know, it doesn't work. But maybe you write it in a slightly different way where it could work. Because the idea of Vader just kind of tromping around being like, I'm looking for Obi-Wan. Yep, it's 10 years later and I'm still looking for Obi-Wan. Because I'm just that kind of, you know, crazy man. He's cutting down people. He's chopping off hands. He's cutting people. He's not threatening to kill Owen. They're not killing him. He's just killing people. And, you know, maybe Obi-Wan's in the background. He's like, oh my God, Vader. I don't know. I just think you have Vader. You're going to use him. Don't just... Be afraid to use him and then throw him at us at the end. Don't Rogue One this. Don't Rogue One this. Anyone who thinks that that works, it's like, yes, that's a great scene in Rogue One. But how much better would it be if he was just in the whole movie and he kills like half the cast? It's just, he's not there to be some like in the background figure. That's the Emperor. He's like a front man. He's like the face of the Empire. Like, use him. Utilize him. What are we doing here? There's four more episodes Maybe they'll, maybe, maybe they'll utilize it. Maybe there's, maybe it's going to be good. Maybe we'll get some Clone Wars flashbacks. Maybe, maybe it will be good. But so far, we are a third of the way through, and it's mostly Leia running about doing quips. And being like, oh, we're getting chased by people and it's life and death. But, oh, there's some food. Did you smell that food? It's so delicious. Oh, I'll have these gloves, actually. It's fine. It's fine. So I was wondering, they were going to release six episodes, one a week, and they were going to release the first episode 40 years later, the same date, as A New Hope, and it, oh, it, it, it's symmetry, it works, it's it's beautiful, it's it's like uh, poetry, or whatever the hell George Lucas said, you know the thing, you know the quote I'm saying, 
But they're like, actually, let's do two. Let's release them on a Friday. Oh, I love when they release a show on Fridays. It's not like Friday's the one day of the week or the one of the two days a week where I might actually go outside. Release it on any other weekday when I have nothing better to do than sit down and watch Obi-Wan and then scream into the void about it. And also, Stranger Things is out right now. So I've got to pump out this thing and then I've got to go watch an actually good show. Oh my God, if Stranger Things is worse than this, I will literally not... I. I don't know what I'm going to do. But no, let's release two at once. And I'm like, why? Why are you doing that? Makes no sense. But now I've seen those two episodes, I know why. Because the first one, not very good. Doesn't make me go, well, maybe it will get good. It's still just like, oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 God, no, no. Oh, Obi-Wan, oh, no. Oh, no. But at the end of this second episode, even though I didn't think it was much better, it was better and then, the end of the episode, was it? I don't even know. At least in the first one, Owen Lars was in it. But was, it, it was, was Owen Lars even utilized well? I feel like every line he said in this episode was in the trailer. He's like, I don't like the ship that you made him. Just, ah! Great. You've utilized Australia's best actor and you've just thrown him in the dumpster again. Fantastic. Great stuff. Love it. I'm, <laughs> I'm so mad, but it's, uh, but it's, I shouldn't be. I, I should wish, I should have seen this coming Book of Boba Fett was not good, but Obi-Wan, I just... God, he's such a badass. God damn, he's such a badass. But yeah, no, the end of the second episode, Anakin's there, he's got the masky thingy thingy on, he's all like... You know, the Darth Vader thingy, the Darth Vader thingy! And I went, well, <laughs> I can't wait for episode three, because hopefully it's better. I mean, it will be better, because he's going to have some kind of presence, and now Obi-Wan's going to have some agency, and he's like, Leia, go back to Jimmy Smith! And he'll get rid of the 10-year-old child running around being like, I'm 10! <laughs> Fun hijinks! Just, why did they make a 10-year-old run about for half these... Oh, I can't believe we spent so much runtime of just children running about. Just, also when she's getting chased by the bandits, they're all like, ah, ah, ah. just like awkward and clunky. When that Jedi's running around and doing the force and everyone's... It just felt clunky. Like the action didn't feel... I don't know, like who directed the action in this? I thought she directed some of the Mandalorian. Well, they, they must, they were good episodes, right? I mean, all of the Mandalorian's pretty good. I, I, I remember being very excited. I think it's Deborah Cho. I'm sorry if I got that name wrong. Name's here if I've got it wrong. I was really excited, but watching this, the fact that she's going to do all of it, which I think she's still doing all of it. I could be wrong there. Yeah, a little nervous for the big duel. Darth Vader versus, um, other Darth Vader. Not other Darth Vader, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan Kenobi! Should have been called Kenobi. Thanks for watching, guys. Like! subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. I'd love to know what everyone thought of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Have I lost my mind? Am I the only one that doesn't like this? Or did th this actually, it did, did this actually suck? I'm, I actually hope I'm the only one that didn't like this. No, I'm not. I, we need, we need to, we need to stamp this out. We need to teach Disney a lesson. But, but there's no way we can ever teach them a lesson. There's no way we can ever be like, I will stop watching your stuff. No matter how bad it gets. I mean, Book of Boba Fett was pretty shit. Except for the two episodes of The Mandalorian that were snuck in there. But I'm st I still watched this the second it came out, uh, you know, like on Disney+. Plus. I mean, I thought it was coming out at 5, and I actually checked at 4.30 just to get it ready, and it was already out. I'm like, oh, oh boy! So, you know, it doesn't matter how bad something is. I'm always coming back for more Star Wars. <sighs> did you guys see the trailer for Andor? Didn't look bad, did it? Looked pretty cool. Why am I getting my hopes up? What am I doing?